for this video, we will talk about multiplication of rational algebraic expressions. So, when we multiply rational algebraic expressions, we will use a method called cancellation method. So, I know you are already familiar with this method because you, you were... You were using this when you were on grade 6 when you were learning fractions, diba? So, magbibigay ako ng example. Let's say, we will be finding the product of 3 over 5 and 15 over 9. So, way back when you were on grade 6, you already used cancellation method. So, you can cancel 3 and 9, diba? Kasi they have a common factor which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. You can also cancel 5 and 15. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And you can also cancel 3 here. And this will be 1 and 1. So, nagka-cancel tayo doon sa mga numbers na may common factors. Okay, and then when we use cancellation, we need to make sure na yung ika-cancel natin is a numerator. and a denominator. Or yung ikakancel natin na numbers, yung isa dapat numerator siya, and then the other one is denominator siya. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-cancel ng numbers na parehong numerator or parehong denominator. Dapat tigisa. Ikakancel mo is coming from the numerator, and then the other one comes from the denominator. So that is how... We use cancellation in fractions. Now, we will also use cancellations in multiplying rational algebraic expressions. So, I already wrote the steps how to multiply rational algebraic expressions from your module. So, let's say, for example, we will solve na, okay? And let us start with a binomial. So, let's say we will cancel 6. I mean, we will find the product of 6x squared over 5. And 15 over 4x to the 4. So, the first step in finding the product of this given is, sabi dyan sa module ninyo, you need to factor the numerators and denominators completely. And you need to make sure na yung factors na isusulat nyo is, can, is may makakancel ka. Okay? So, C5 si and 15, you can cancel something dito kasi may common factor sila. The same as 6x squared and 4x to the 4. So, when you factor this uh, given, 6 and 4, may common factor sila, di ba? Which is 2. So, yun na yung ilagay mo na factor niya. Okay? Yung makakancel mo, yun na yung ilalagay mong factors nila. So, si 6, imbis na 6 times 1, yung ilalagay mo, 3 times 2 yung ilalagay mo kasi you can cancel out 2. Okay? And then when we factor x to the second power, that is dalawang x. x times x. So this is how you factor 6x squared. Okay? 3 times 2 times x times x. It will result to 6x to the second power. Over 5 Kapag pinactor natin ang 5 ay 5 times 1 lang naman, di ba? And then times, pag pinactor natin yung 15, we can factor this as 5 times 3. So ma'am, bakit hindi 15 and 1? Nilagay ko talaga yung 5 kasi we can cancel 5 here and here, okay? Yung ilalagay nyo na factors, make sure na you can cancel them out. Okay, huwag kayong maglalagay if a factor niyo siya kunwari tapos wala naman kayong maka-cancel out. So make sure that when you're putting factors, you can at least cancel them out kung kayang maka-cancel, okay? And then when we factor 4, that is 2 times 2, okay? Ma'am, bakit hindi 4 times 1? O 2 yung nilagay ni Ma'am dahil I can cancel 2 here and here. Okay, as much as possible yung ilalagay niyo na na factors is uh what do you call this? I don't know if there is a term called cancelable. Pero, yun, yung, make sure na yung ilalagay niyong factor ay makakancel niyo na. Siyempre, bakit kayo maglalagay ng factor na you cannot cancel out naman? And then, x to the fourth power, that is 4x's. Okay? And then, that is how you factor 
x to the fourth power. Now that you completely factor out the given, the second step is you should cancel out common factors or i-cancel out mo yung mga magkakamukhang factors. Okay? So in this in this case, ang mga magkakamukhang factors ay can I cancel out 3 and 3 here? No. So, pag nagka-cancel tayo, just like what I demonstrate a while ago, dapat yung ika-cancel natin, isa sa numerator and then isa sa denominator. So, in this case, I can cancel out 5 here and here. Numerator, denominator. Okay. And then, I can cancel out 2 here and then here. Either way, kahit alin sa 2 na yan. Okay. And then, I can also cancel out 2x's in the numerator and 2x's here in the denominator. So, is there anything that we can cancel out? So, wala na tayong, pwede, wala na tayong pwedeng ma-cancel out. Therefore, we should multiply the remaining factors. Or, isulat natin yung mga natilang, natirang factors para hindi tayo malito. So, in this a part, ang natira lang is 3 and then over 1 times dito ang natira lang is 3 over 2 times x times x, that is 2x squared. Okay? x squared, dalawang x. Okay? Now, na na-multiply na natin yung remaining factors, we can now compute for the product. Okay? So, when we Compute for the product, you are going to multiply the numerator, numerators, and the denominator. So, ang mangyayari, numerator times numerator, and then denominator times denominator. So, 3 times 3, that is 9, over 1 times 2x squared, that is 2x squared. No need to factor, it is already simplified, therefore, this will be your final answer. 9 over 2x squared. So, if we are going to write that, that is 9 over 2x squared. That is the product of example number 1. Let us solve another example. And let's say the second example naman ay may binomial siya sa given or sa rational algebraic expression. So, let's say we will be finding the product of 3x squared minus 3 all over x. Okay? And then we need to multiply it by 4x squared over 2x squared minus 2. Okay? So we need to find the product of this rational algebraic expression. So using the steps that we applied a while ago, so first that you need to do is to factor the numerators and denominators and make sure that the factors are cancelable or pwede niyo i-cancel. Kung mayroong word na cancelable, that will be it. Okay? If wala, so <laughs> that's just my make of words. So if we if we factor 3x squared minus 3, you can factor it using ano, factoring polynomials with the common factor. So, you can factor this dahil hindi naman to difference of 2 squares. Hindi din siya sum or difference of 2 cubes. So, the only thing that you need to do is to find its common factors. Okay? For you to factor them. So, a common factor ni 3x squared and negative 3. Or, let's just uh, disregard muna yung sign. Okay? 3x squared and 3 ang factor. Ang common factor nila ay 3. Okay? So, 3. And then, you need to divide this common factor to each term of the given binomial. So, 3x squared divided by 3. Natira na lang si x squared. And then, just copy the sign. So, minus 3 divided by 3. That is 1. Okay? Over x. We cannot factor x. This is it. No? So, leave it as it is. Times 4x squared, we can still factor this. So, pwede natin i-factor as, uh, what do you want? 2 times 2 times x times x. Okay? And then, all over 
2x squared minus 2, you can also factor this, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina kay 3x squared minus 3. Dahil hindi naman to difference of 2 squares, hindi naman din siya sum or difference of 2 cubes. So we just need to get the common factor and divide the common factor to each term in the given. So common factor ni 2x squared and 2 is 2, and then we need to divide 2 to each term in the binomial. So 2x squared divided by 2, the answer is x squared. Copy the sign, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So this is what you will get after factoring the given. So now that you already factor the given, you just need to cancel out common factors. Okay, so we, you can cancel out x squared minus 1 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. You can cancel out x here and x here. You can also cancel out 2 here and 2 here. So, is there anything that we can cancel out? Wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel out. Therefore, we just have to uh, multiply the remaining Factor. So, dito natira na lang sa kanya is 3, okay, over. Dito, wala nang natira sa kanya. Kapag wala nang terms na natira uh, sa numerator or denominator, that is auto automatically equal to 1. So, 3 over 1 times this 1, 2 times x, the answer is 2x over. Dito din, dito din, wala nang natira, so this will be over 1. And then, we need to multiply the numerators and denominators for us to be able to find the product. Okay? So, 3 times 2x, the answer is 6x. 1 times 1, the answer is 1. 6x over 1 can be simply written as 6x. Okay? And this will be now your final answer. So, the product of example number 2 is 6x. Okay? So, another example na may binomial yung given. Let's say we have example number 3. Okay? And then, let's say we have um, let's say we have x squared minus 4x okay? Over x plus 2 times x squared minus 4 over 2x minus uh, 8. Okay, let's say we have this given. So again, we need to factor out the numerators and denominators. And we should make sure na yung factors na kukunin natin ay may makakancel tayo. So in this part, x squared minus 4x, this is not a difference of two square, squares. We didn't show some or difference of two cubes. So we can factor this out by getting the common factor. Okay, a common factor in x squared and 4x i x. And then we need to divide the common factor. Divide natin yung uh, given natin by the common factor. So, x squared divided by x, that is x. And then copy the sign, minus 4x divided by x, that is 4. So, this will be now the factored form of this uh, binomial. Over, x plus 2 is already simplified. Okay, naka, hindi na natin siya pwedeng i-factor out. So, just write x plus 2 times x squared minus 4, it can be factor using difference of two squares. Kasi difference of two squares to. So, when you factor out difference of two squares, the answer will be two binomials having different signs. And then, the square root of x squared is x, di ba? And then, the square root of 4 is 2. So, that will be the factors of x squared minus 4. Quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 2. All over 2x minus 8, this is not a difference of 2 squares. Hindi din siya sum or difference of 2, two cubes. Therefore, we should get the common factor for us to factor this out. So, ang common factor ni 2x and 8 is 2. Okay? And then we need to divide the common factor to each term in the 
uh, binomial. Okay, 2x divided by 2, the answer is x. Okay, and then copy the sign minus 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. Now that we factored out the numerators and denominators, we should now cancel common factors. So I can cancel x minus 4 in the numerator and the denominator. I can also cancel x plus 2 here. And then meron pa, there's no more no, that we can cancel out. So, ang natira na lang dito is x. Dito ay wala na. So, that is over 1 times. Natira dito is um, x minus 2. Okay? And then dito ay 2. So, now that we rewrite the remaining factors, we can now multiply or find for their product. So, x times x minus 2, that will be x times x minus 2 over 1 times 2. But then, it is not yet finished. Okay? You need to distribute x kasi you need to multiply, diba? So, x times x, that is x squared, and then x times negative 2, the answer is negative 2x all over 2. So this will be now your final answer, and that is the product of example number 3. So the product of example number 3 is x squared minus 2x all over Okay, now, of course, we need to level up. How about if the given has a trinomial? Okay, so you're going to use your knowledge in factoring trinomials when the given has a trinomial. So let's say we have this example. We have y squared minus 2y minus 3 over y squared minus 3y. And we need to multiply this by y squared plus 2y over y squared minus 4. Again, we need to factor the numerators and denominators. So dito, kapag pinactor natin si y squared minus 2y minus 3, the answer will be y minus 3 or quantity y minus 3 times quantity y plus 1. This is ano, factoring like general trinomials. Okay, factoring trinomials. So you need to know that. Okay, dapat alam niyo na yun. And then over y squared minus 3y, this is not a difference of two squares, hindi din siya sum or difference of two cubes. We can factor this by getting the common factor. Okay, so ang common factor ni y squared and 3y is y. Okay, and we need to divide y to each term in the binomial. So y squared divided by y, the answer is y. Copy the sign, minus 3y divided by y, the answer is 3. Okay, and that is the factorization of the denominator. And then this one, this is also not a difference of two squares. We didn't just have our difference of two cubes. So we need to factor this by getting the common factor. So a common factor niya is also y. Okay. So, we need to divide y, divide y to each term in the binomial. So, y squared divided by y, the answer is y. Copy the sign. Plus, 2y divided by y, the answer is 2. All over, this denominator is a difference of two squares. So, when we factor that out, the answer will be y, quantity y plus 2 times quantity y minus 2. Now, that will be the factors. Now that we already factored the numerator and the denominator, we should cancel out same factor. So here, I can cancel out y minus 3 and then also y plus 2. I can also cancel out y here and then there's no more. Okay? So, ang natira na lang is y plus 1 over, wala nang term, so that is over 1, times, dito wala nang term, so that is 1, over y minus 2. And then, right after we rewrite 
the remaining factors or multiply the remaining factors, we can now find the product. So y plus 1 times 1, that is equal to y plus 1. And then 1 times y minus 2, that is equal to y minus 2. And this will be your product. y plus 1 over y minus 2. That is your product. How about the last example? I believe it is not example number three, no? So, example number four na tayo. Four. Tama ba? Yes. Yeah, we are in example number four. Sorry for that. And we will move on for the last example, which is example number five. And then let's say we, we have a trinomial, Okay. So let's say we have x squared minus 16 and then we have 2x plus 8. And, and we need to multiply it by x plus 4 over x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay. So, again, we need to factor out the numerators and the denominators. So, when we factor this a numerator, which is x squared minus 16, this is an example of a difference of two squares. So, when we factor it out, the answer is x or quantity x plus 4 times quantity x minus 4. Okay, all over. Ito, we can factor it out by getting the common factor. So, ang common factor ni 2x and 8 is 2. And then, we need to divide the common factor to each term of the binomial. So, 2x uh, divided by 2, the answer is x, copy the sign, plus 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. Okay? And then, times, x plus 4 is already simplified. Or, nakafactor na. Hindi na natin siya pwede factor out. Over this trinomial, we can still factor it out. The factors are quantity uh, x plus 4 times quantity x plus 4. By the way, this trinomial is an example of a perfect square trinomial. But then, uh, pwede kasi natin siyang i-rewrite as, di ba, magkamukha lang naman yung factor niya para yung x plus 4. Pwede natin siyang i-rewrite at I write as this because it's a perfect square trinomial. Siya. But then we cannot cancel out uh, quantity x plus 4 squared. Diba? Wala namang quantity x plus 4 squared dito sa mga factors. So therefore, if that is the case, kaya nga sinabi ko kanina, you, you should factor it out completely. As much as possible, yung factor na ilalagay mo ay makakancel mo. Kapag kasi ito yung factor na, nil na nilagay mo, which is, yeah, the correct factor of this trinomial, kasi perfect square trinomial to, hindi mo siya pwedeng makancel out kasi kailangan, itong si x plus 4 dito sa kabila, may square din dyan. Eh, wala siyang square dyan. So, therefore, we should rewrite this as this. In short, we should expand the factor as much as possible para may ma-cancel out tayo. So now, pwede na natin siya i-cancel out. Pwede natin, natin i-cancel out si x plus 4 dito. Okay? At the same time, we can cancel out x plus 4 here and here. And ano pa pwede natin i-cancel out? Wala na tayong pwede i-cancel out. Therefore, we should rewrite the remaining factors. So here, ang... Ang naiwan na factors is x minus 4 and then over 2 and the quantity x plus 4 times wala nang naiwan, so 1 over 1. So now, we can now solve for the product. So x minus 4 times 1, the answer is x minus 4. And then here, 2x plus 4 times 1, that is 2 quantity x plus 4. But then, we are not yet finished. Okay? So, kailangan natin i-distribute si 2 to each term in the binomial. So, we have x minus 4 over 2 times x. The answer is 2x. And then, 2 times uh, 4. The answer is 
A. So this will be now your product. Okay, so the product of example number 5 is x minus 4 all over 2x plus A. So that is how you find the product or that is how you multiply rational algebraic expressions.